The motorbike firm Norton is helping injured service personnel get back to work after they leave the forces. They're offering taster days at the factory to help smooth the transition from military to civilian working. They'll also be used as coaches in a new apprentice academy that the company's setting up later this year. Mark Goff has been speaking to one ex-serviceman who's working with the motorbike firm to get the project off the ground. The man who's whizzing around Donington Park at some speed is this chap. Talent skills Piggins. He was paralysed from the chest down in a motorbike crash in 2003. He hasn't stopped in racing. He's still got full use of his arms and upper body and at straps hold his legs in place on the bike. He's also an accomplished skier. He competed in the 2010 Paralympic Winter Games and now he coaches Great Britain's adaptive border cross skiers. Like motocross, but for snowboarders with a disability. His next venture is helping ex-service personnel get back to work. And Norton Motorcycles at Castle Donington is giving them that chance. Tallinn is ex-military. He was a Royal Navy fighter controller. With a charity, Mission Motorsport, he's helping veterans get back to work in civilian life. Often a difficult transition especially if they've been injured too. It gives them the confidence to go out there and do something. Quite a lot of people can, can retreat back inside themselves, uh, sit in a big funk as it were. It's a lot of depression, but having a workplace, having something to do, having a sense of purpose means I'm gonna get out of bed, I'm gonna strap on the prosthetic, or I'm gonna get in my chair and I'm gonna go to work going to live my life. I'm going to not just simply exist, uh, you know, as a miserable wretch. I have something to do. I have something worthwhile that other people want. It's the idea of Norton boss Stuart Garner. Veterans come and spend time at the factory, and if they like it, they can apply for jobs. Those guys have, have gone out there um, and, and kind of done their thing for the country. And I think as a nation, if you have the opportunity um, to give these guys a, a, a break, to get them back into kind of, you know, civvies and employment and a more normalised, regular life and lifestyle. I think we should all do a little bit to do that. The company is expanding. They'll make 600 bikes this year, 1,200 next. And later this year, they'll have an academy for apprentices. They've asked the government for cash support. One of the aims is to train enough engineers to ensure that every single part that goes into the bikes is British made. We've kind of been working away here at Norton and growing volumes and getting more distribution around uh, the world to get the product out. But now we're in a situation where we need the skill set and we need the workforce. And, and the, really the best way to get that is to bring some of the youth um, back into the business. The British motorcycle industry was served warm on a plate to the Japanese in the 1960s. And we want it back. You know, we, we desperately want to make a completely 100% British motorcycle. We're 83% British by component count at the moment, and we want to get that to 100. And we'd like to make as many components in-house. It gives us control. Uh, it gives us quality, because maybe there's some chance to do some cost down. But, but really, that, that control and that Britishness then runs right through the business. And you know, we've, we've found the problems in, in growing volume of the business are all supply chain led and we'd just like to give the, that, that supply chain some focus. And at the same time, helping people get back to work. Mark Goff, ITV News. It's a great idea, isn't it? Yeah.